Which AFC wild card team? I think it means which yeah. wild card it, round it says yeah. Wild card. Okay. Do we mean wild card round or do round. we mean um, wild card me weekend team? There, yeah. there you go. There you go. It, 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 wouldn't matter it, what right. the, it didn't matter what the question was. I was going to say Jacksonville. And, and the reason being okay, is, next. well, I have to say this. <laughs> I, uh, I, I talked about it last week, I think, in um, saying that the Jags in August scrimmaged the New England Patriots in Foxborough throughout the uh, preseason. And the rumors coming out of there were that they were dominating the Patriots in that, throughout that week. Uh, defensively and offensively, they're doing a good, very good job. So there's not a team in this in this playoff that they're nervous about. They've already beat Pittsburgh and Pittsburgh. Killed They've already them. won all these things. Yeah, so this team, you know, if Blake Bortles, again, if he doesn't turn the ball over, if he plays efficient and they can run the ball well, Defensively, they'll win the game three nothing if they can. Got to get a lead. Gotta Don't want to play from behind. But listen, we haven't seen the Jags the last two weeks that we've seen before. But I agree with you. They went into Pittsburgh and annihilated them. First, they got to get past the Bills, and I could I could just sit here and read the Bills' social media account all day. Yeah, it's it's been on fire. It's been so fun to watch that celebration. But listen, if they can beat Pittsburgh and go into Foxborough, they're the type of team in certain contexts. I wouldn't pick them to win, but they could get to that offense and win a low-scoring game. It sounds crazy, but the Jags could go to the Super Bowl. It, the problem is, if you go that far, Bortles at Foxborough. That's the, that's the problem there. In fact, Got to get a lead. In, uh, yeah. you, yes. Hold on. You, yes. you, really, you really think Let's that Blake see. Bortles is going to go in no. to Foxborough? But, but, I but, think they, Bortles, but I think they're the one team that – other than Pittsburgh. What about well, the I, Chiefs? I think, I think they already might, went there and won in the If we see the opener. Chiefs we saw in September, then yeah. Yeah, yeah but I uh, – yeah. Yeah. We haven't, we haven't one, seen those Chiefs in a while. One thing about the Jacksonville train here, which I think everyone's on, you maybe not some. You have to be on it after 3501. Oh, so no, you're no. all on I, it. And I, I get I'm it. I really, I like them it. and if I love their talent. If he jumps off, is it 3500 again? Yeah. Yes. Yes. He's back to 3500. The, the Jacksonville team, the talent over the years at the Combine, we're looking at players and they end up in Jacksonville year after year and they're terrific. The only thing, this weekend they will see a better secondary, I believe, and a very opportunistic secondary. The Bills secondary is good. And maybe sure. a team of wow. destiny. The key is, and I think, Mike, you said it best, they have to have a lead. If they can run the ball and play solid defense, and they have four guys who can run it. Chris Ivory, I think you'll have every running back up. A TJ Yeldon, Leonard Fournette, and Corey Grant. Give it to 27 as you, you much have, as you can. You yes. have a chance to really run the ball. I think Doug Marone said it best. If we can run the ball every play, that's what we'll do. Sure. They are one of eight teams that are new to the playoffs this year. You had eight out of 12 turnover that's this cool. year. That goes back to the earlier point, right? That's yep. what the NFL is designed and, to And be. I was at the Bills' last playoff game 18 long years ago, and the Music City Miracle happened, and I figured that's brutal, but they'll be back. They're finally back.